Okay, hey, this is Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. Today's the third day of March 2018. And uh, as you can see, it is beautifully sunny out. Everybody's enjoying life today, especially me. And I'm just, I just, <clears throat> I come out this morning and I knew what I had to do today, but I just wanted to look around a little bit, you know. So I jump on my trusty steed right there, and I went for a cruise around. And this is kind of a, a general farm thing, message, I guess. And what I'm looking for, uh, a lot of times I'm looking for problem areas, you know, things that might be happening that need my attention and also just kind of clear my head, get the stink blown off of me, as my wife likes to say. And uh, so I come out and I'm riding around. I have kind of a love-hate relationship with this phone. But I was listening to a little Stevie Wonder this morning with my headphones. <clears throat> and I uh, drove around and, man, it's, it's like spring. It is coming. You know it's coming. And it's exciting for uh, people that are in the business that we're in or people that want to be in the business that we're in because it's exciting. And, like, I guess it would be unexciting if it was the same old, same old. <clears throat> but I guess the point is, is that I just went out this morning and looked and listened. could hear the birds. You know, I could feel uh, the sun on my face. And... You know, I could see the attitude of the, the animals changes. And my attitude changes, right? So, well, I, I guess I got to give an example of what happens. is I'm cruising around, and I get to this field right here. And this is, this is field one of my grow area, which is field two and field three. And it's, it's 300 long, 100 wide. And it's divided in thirds, so you can you can move the animals animals around. It's got woven wire all around it, and it's got a standoff of electric on the inside, and then it's got gates, so I can move the animals around like really easily. All I have to do is open a gate, and if there's something better on one side, they will go to it. So this field right here, this is field one, and if you I made a video last fall where I planted this in late summer with gopher radishes and I don't really remember but I, I will tell you that they got up about six inches tall and I thought excellent because what happens with those kind of that that species of plant it's a brassica is the snow will come down on it lightly and it will support the the plants up and the plants will continue to grow under the snow, believe it or not. And then when you have your thaw come, you've got nice moist soil and sunlight hits them, they warm up, their attitude perks up and you know, they take right off. Well, we had kind of a thaw midwinter, big time thaw, and they were laid bare. They were still up. I mean, we could have come out and picked them and ate them but then it got real cold and it froze them right off. I mean, there's, I don't even see anything out here. It's like the soil under, underneath the, the snow has, has disposed of them. It's, it's consumed them, they're gone. And there was a pretty good covering of them. So I'm left with the field that looks like this and it's, it's nice, it's, uh, it's pretty fertile. It's, it's not as good as the field that the pigs are on now. But it's good, and I'm, I'm cruising by here, and I'm thinking, well, I'm going to have to get in there with a tractor, and I'm going to have to rough that up and seed it and, um, you know, get it going again. But then I thought, wait a minute, there's a better way. Because getting in here with a tractor is hard, because one thing, I have to get in the next pen over first, and when I do, there's 30 pigs in there, they're going to want to go out the gate when I'm coming in. And even with a couple helpers, it's, you know, it's, could be a challenge. And then once they see that there is a gate there too, that's, that's a challenge too. And then I got to get in here without them getting in here and wherever the tractor is, they want to be. So it's just a pain to do. And it's like the least 
the less painful things that I have to do in the course of the day, the better. And so I thought, well, huh, well, I don't, I don't even need to do that. All I need to do to get them in here or to get this seeded is come in here, broadcast the seed, just broadcast it with a, a whirly gig, and then broadcast over that something that they would find enticing. So I could grind up a bunch of bread and bring it in. I could throw in shell corn. I don't like to feed corn and I don't like to give that GMO stuff to them, but like one bag of shell corn is not gonna bring the world down and I could disperse that. They would come in, they'd see those kernels and they would go after them. In the meantime, they're walking around and they're pushing all those tiny seeds in. The seeds would be too tiny for them to eat. Now, they may get a couple of them, but they won't get them all. And then when they go back over to their place at night, all I have to do is close the gate. So then I've got it seeded, I've got it cultivated, and ready to grow. And then I can just wait and have the sun bathe in it like it is today. It's still too cold to have anything germinate right now, but it's not going to be long. It's not going to be long at all. And let's say that I got it going very early this year, and then we get a frost and they all freeze off. Well, it's not such a terrible thing. I'm not using a whole lot of six minutes. I'm not using a whole lot of uh, seed anyway, and it all goes back to the soil, so it, it wouldn't be a terrible waste, and then I could just do it again. So, you know, I don't have to make a huge project out of it, and then it fails, because sometimes when you're seeding fields, you say, I don't want to do it now because I'm going to put, um, you know, this many dollars worth of manpower into it, this many dollars worth of diesel fuel into it, this many dollars worth of um, seed into it but in this case 100 by 100 what two bucks worth of seed four bucks maybe and it's kind of fun to do so i would get enjoyment out of it anyway and if it works then you could expand that you know i could see doing it on a much bigger field like i have down there that i can't get on with equipment but the pigs can so i'm going to try this and I'm going to kind of document it to see, and if it works here, I might try it down there. You know, I just thought of that. I just thought of that. So you're, wit you're witnessing this happen. This the soil is speaking to me. I think I'm going to go hug a tree. All right, Mark Baker's Green Acres. Anyone can farm.